conditions out there, so we're keeping an eye mm -hmm. on our fire danger today. Areas west of Madison yet again expecting those high wind gusts, and that's where we have that high risk. A moderate risk for areas to the east, so Dodge and Jefferson County included in that moderate risk, but Again, this map gets updated at 8 o'clock, so we could see that uh, get pushed a little bit higher. Our drought conditions map also updated yesterday, and right now, the entire state at least abnormally dry, but our severe drought now expanding to include parts of southwestern Wisconsin, parts of Lafayette County, most of Lafayette County, southern Green, southern Grant, and even southern Rock County included in that severe drought. So some rain in the forecast would be good news. And unfortunately, we're really not tracking that through the next few days. We are still tracking that wind. That's why our fire danger is still high for areas west of Dane County. You can see the divide here later this afternoon and evening. If you're trying to do any sort of grilling out or, or backyard fire in the fire pit later today, areas to the west expecting those high winds. So certainly not recommending it to the west, to the east. It will not be nearly as breezy. Things back off overnight. Saturday's looking pretty good. A clear sky right now. Now across the state, you guessed it, we're going to continue to see that trend through this afternoon into Saturday. Pleasant today. Saturday, we see highs of the low 70s. We might see some light showers for far northern Wisconsin late Saturday into early Sunday. But Sunday and Monday, we're staying sunny and we're going to continue to warm up. Today, sunny and a little warmer. Highs will land in the upper 60s for Madison, Partyville, Rio, also close to 70. We'll be near 70 for Lake Delton to Baraboo, so everyone in a pretty similar temperature spot. Clear skies tonight with our overnight lows dropping to the low 40s. So we have another night in the low 40s before our overnight lows start to climb a little closer to 50. That warmer air keeping our afternoons mild and our overnight temperatures uh, above average because average for this time of year moving towards the end of October. That'll be the upper 30s. We're not going to drop down quite as cold for the next few nights. Now next week we're tracking a small chance for some light showers in the forecast right around Tuesday. That system though doesn't bring much rain. It does cool us back down to the 50s for highs by the end of next week.